Hey, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I'm Shar. Today I want to talk about what do you pray when you can't pray, you don't know how to pray, or maybe you're new and you're just like, what now? Someone prayed to me, or prayed for me rather, and brought me this far. What do I do now? What do I do when I'm alone? What do I do when I go home? Like, so many questions, not enough answers, right? Well, I'm going to tell you the answer to your problem with prayer is prayer. And you may say, what? That doesn't even make sense when I don't even know how. Well, you got the right girl in the right video. Now, I'm not perfect. I struggle. Sometimes I go, it'd be like nighttime. I'd be like, Lord, I didn't even open my mouth and said, thank you. And no, it doesn't feel okay to me, but God does know my heart and my intent because I don't wake up saying I'm not going to pray to God because that's my communication with him. So any time spent with him is precious and prayer is no different. So again, my answer to you is prayer. First of all, I'm going to pray with you in this video and then I'm going to actually talk to you about what prayer is and how you can pray and some different tips and tricks that kind of help you get along. So Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to come before your throne. Lord, I ask that anybody that is struggling with prayer and talking to you, may they find comfort in this video. Lord, not because of me, but because of you working through me. Lord, I ask that you give me the tools and, you know, control what I say and my thoughts so that I can say something that will actually help my brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, I ask that you strengthen the areas where we are weak, whether it be prayer, fasting, reading the word, or just generally making time for you and putting you first. Lord, we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, we prayed. And guess what? According to my word, as long as we're here on the same page, God will answer our prayer. You just have to be patient or allow him to do his work. Now, one thing that came to my mind when it came to prayer was, uh, I sound silly, right? I feel like I'm talking to myself. But did you know God is all knowing and he's all seeing, he's all powerful? He's everywhere. So he hears our thoughts already before we even let him come out our mouth. I find it be interesting because you will kind of think, okay, if he knows my thoughts, why do I have to say it out loud? Then here's something I can tell you that maybe if this is an actual real life anxiety struggle for you, like it was for me, then please find comfort that he does hear your thoughts. So maybe you are choked up. Maybe you're not a talkative person and you think more than you talk. That's fine and that's okay. You can pray in your mind. Now, I would like to think that where there's a strength, there's a weakness. So even if not verbally speaking, often is something you're not comfortable with, you may pray in your mind, but it doesn't hurt to do um, short prayers out of your mouth. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I love you. Lord, you're awesome. Lord, you are incredible. Lord, you are king of kings and Lord of oh Lord. Like, just, you know, think about what you like. Like, you like people say, hey, girl, I like your outfit. Hey, I like um, your hairstyle. Hey, you look nice today. Hey, I'm glad you came to work today. Like, be thankful and grateful of who your God is. And you can say short, simple phrases. It doesn't have to be this long, drawn-out thing. And it doesn't have to sound so robotic and monotone like you copy it from somebody else. God knows you. And his relationship with you is like nobody else's. So please hold on to that. I used to think, God, what is wrong with me? Like, I felt like I had to write everything. Like, I've been having journals since I was a kid. And before I talk anything, I just went from thought paper. And it's like... Oh, what's wrong with me? But come to find out, that's just who I am. I can pray writing. Yes, you can pray, write, or have a prayer journal. That's nothing wrong with that either. Don't let no one or nothing tell you that one is greater than the next. The Bible didn't say you can't do these things. It only says that you must. So you must pray. So I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that you can't pray or it's okay not to pray. You have to pray. You have to get to a point where you're so comfortable. And it's going to take a while that prayer comes to you on a regular basis. You almost hit a car. Lord, thank you for keeping me. Um, someone bless you with money for lunch. Lord, I thank you for providing. Like you're, It's going to be to a point where... You're going to put God in everything and you're going to pray about everything, whether you're praying a prayer of thanks, uh, a prayer of mourning, like, Lord, please help me. I'm going through. 
You want to get to that point where everything reverts back to prayer. Before taking a job promotion, before marriage, before dating, before sending a text message, before clicking on YouTube. You want to pray and ask that God cover you and keeps you and that he protects you from evil seen and unseen. Because we know there's a whole spiritual world going on out there that's not easily seen or can't be seen with the visible eye, but you should be able to determine with the spiritual eye at some point. So please understand that your prayer time is communication with God. You're just talking to him. Think of him as a father. Like you go to your father and say, hey, dad, um, how's it going today? Um, I'm feeling like this. I was wondering if I can have this. You know, like you know how you talk to your dad. And you may say, well, I don't have a dad. You have a mom. And no, let's understand that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are masculine being so they are male they are not female but what i'm saying to you is the same way you will go to your mom and try to have a conversation you can do the same thing to god and you can be raw and transparent because again he knows your thoughts already so don't come and just be all fake and say random things that you heard from somebody else like be genuine lord i'm struggling to even talk to you i don't even know what to say to you help me. And I can assure you, if you pray and ask in Jesus name, if it's in God's will, he will honor your prayer. I used to struggle so bad. I'm like, what am I supposed to say? I'm not a talkative person, but the Lord helped and he will send help. Like he will probably even send someone that you can identify with. You're like, Oh, we're on. Hey girl, like we're on the same level in the same age group. We have the same interests and likes and you can click and build a relationship and they can kind of help you to feel more comfortable. Something that God had instructed me to do one time, he wanted me to literally pray for my mom. And this was in the midst of us not even being in a great relationship. And it was just like, pray for your mother. And I struggled. I said, no, I'm not. How dare you tell me that? You know, I don't like this woman like that right now. You know, we ain't got a relationship like that, that I can just say, hey, mom, come pray. But the feeling was so overwhelming that I couldn't do nothing else. And that, my friend, is the Holy Spirit. It's not Shar, because Shar won't feel it at the time. But when the Holy Spirit says something, you need to be obedient. And that's even with prayer. And the Holy Spirit will help you with prayer. And last but not least, if you feel like none of those tips help you, whether just thinking your thoughts and putting them on paper, reaching out or collaborating with a friend, or uh, talking to your father, or establishing a relationship, um, taking your time, just saying short phrases, if none of those things work for you, please consider this. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> just do it. Just, hey God, I love you. I thank you. And don't think about the time either, because that's one thing I used to think about, like, hmm, how long am I praying for? I don't think this is enough. I'm, you know, it's, it was more about comparing myself to others. Please don't do that. Please, please, please. And then finally, there's scripture that helps when it says, if you don't know what to pray, you don't know what you should say, pray this. And then you have the Lord's prayer. And that is in the Matthew. I'll put the scriptures on the screen. But I encourage you to just find a means or a way. Don't quit. Don't give up. Just don't stop at I don't know how. At one point, we didn't know how to tie a shoe. At one point, we didn't know how to write. We didn't know how to read. Like, we had to learn these things. And the Bible, God's word, and the having a relationship with God is no different. We have to learn what God wants us to do and how to do it. And there's no better map, blueprint, layout, book than the Bible. Pick up your Bible on today. Talk to God on today. I just want to encourage someone. Just do it. I absolutely love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.